So this model shows you are the structure of the mature spermatozoa. So what are the various parts of mature spermatozoa you should be able to tell. So this is the head of the spermatozoa. So this is the acrosomal cap covering it. Next this is your neck. The remaining part is called as your tail. In that the part of tail that is unsheathed by your mitochondria is called as middle, middle piece. So this is the mitochondrial sheath. Next this part of tail is called as principal piece. Now this is called as end piece. So these are the various parts of your sperm. So in this you should be able to tell about the spermiogenesis also. How your head of the sperm is derived. So your sper spermatic is undergoing changes to form your mature spermatozoa. So that is called as spermiogenesis. Okay. So your nucleus of the your spermatid forms your head. Your Golgi apparatus of spermatid forms your acrosomal cap. The mitochondria forms your mitochondrial sheath. Next, most of the cytoplasm will be removed during this spermiogenesis as residual body. That's why if you see the cytoplasm here, the amount of cytoplasm in the sperm is very less. Okay, so mitochondria forms your mitochondrial sheath. So cytoplasm is removed. So your Golgi apparatus forms your acrosomal cap. Nucleus forms your head. Mitochondria forms your mitochondrial sheath. Next, your centrioles will be formed here. So, one at the beginning of your middle piece, other one is at the end of your middle piece. That is your spermiogenesis. Like that, the examiner may ask about your spermatogenesis also. That also you should be able to tell. So, no point in simply showing that model as a sperm and its parts. Okay, anything the examiner may ask about your spermatogenesis or spermiogenesis, anything. Okay, thank you.